up, you guys? It's Mary. And um, uh, we watch that's a like, subscribe, share, and comment down below. Because today we are going to be reviewing Nine Day Fiance Happily Ever After, you guys. And oh. we are going to talk about Kama Sutra with oh, Jenny Lord. and so Please, let's not. <laughs> Let for us some not reason, talk about that. For some reason, they feel the need to let us know that they are having sex. And I would rather stab my eyes with forks than to hear that, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Okay? Um, so, he basically wants Jenny to try out Kama Sutra, go to a class. Um, even, I don't know if you guys know this girl who was in Pride and Prejudice. She was the most beautiful woman in the world. She was an Indian woman. Yeah. Um, she was on Oprah one time. A... Um, in India, it's not common for them to display their like PDA, PDA and all their that affection, stuff. all that stuff. Yeah. So for him to want Jenny to go to a class, just yeah. lets me know that he has been doing all that kinky stuff in his life. Yeah. He is from India. That's he cool. knows that they don't do that type of stuff. Like going to there. Classes they don't and even all that. hold hands. They don't be kissing in public. All that stuff. So for the fact that him to That's want why he Jenny, actually wants oh, someone who is not from India. That's what I think. Yeah, but the fact that because he wanted to get his freak on in public. My thing also, Jenny is not, she is an older white woman in India. She's a little bit outcasted. So why would she go there with her young Indian man to go talk about Kama Sutra? Yeah. I'm sure she and doesn't she want the whole from, entire world to know that. she comes from a different generation. So yeah. she's not going to do all that, Samit. So I thought that was very odd. Mm -hmm. Very cringy. Yeah. Um, and then also he was saying that, oh, he's the one who might need it. She's like, oh, you need it? He's like, I might. Do you think I need it? He's like, no, I don't think you need it. Well, we'll talk about it later. I wanted to vomit. And I was eating a Snickers bar at the time. <laughs> so it was quite a bit for me. Um, but yes, they went zip lining for their honeymoon and stuff like that. That Jenny, seemed like a lot of fun, though. It did, but it seemed and like I felt, Jenny... I said, well, if Jenny can do it, I can do it. I'm scared like, of I'm heights. I'm a little younger than she is. So I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I can definitely now do supplying. And the oldest person who, who they said has done it was an 89-year-old woman. I don't think I could ever do zip lining. I have a definitely be... fear of roller coasters and heights. I literally will scream, scream and cry like a baby. I can't do it. Yeah. And I will probably have a panic attack before anything. So. It will be so much fun though. But I felt like it was kind of wrong for him because he was because she wanted to go to the beach and he was like, no, that's for kitty. That's for kids or whatever. Let's go do something. Castles. There are other things to do submit the build sand castles for the beach. It's really it's for the view it's for the peace it's for yeah. the ocean yeah. it's very peaceful there so for him it to really go is. and try and make her seem like what she wants to do is boring so i feel like he's trying to, to shade her just to like lay down yeah and just be at peace yeah and anytime every time we left the beach we always felt so good yeah like but we'll be very tired right something about the air that ocean air, that water, it just feels so good. I feel like he was trying to shade her a little bit with her age. Mm, you think so? Yeah, because he was like, you know, I'm adventurous, and now I know you're adventurous, so I now I know it's a match. You didn't know it was a match this whole time, Summit? <sighs> he started to act weird. and then he My all whole thing was that he wants to go to work. Six days a week, and only see, and her, see once. her once a week. He's getting tired of Jenny. I, I, yeah. but I understand because I will be tired of Jenny too. Like those, yeah. like those like emotional, whiny voice those and whining, and then her emotional rant sometimes or whatever. And the lack of cleaning, keeping an organized home. I, I can't live in or a dirty place. Keep a clean home. Everything. Yeah, and I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if the producers are showing the because they're always showing like the. On the cleanliness of her home, I don't know if that's something that they they saw before and they keep on showing it to us. I, I at least for us to see. But anytime they're cleaning the home for his parents, it always looks like not even unorganized. It just looks dirty. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Jenny, but I mean yeah. she's pushing ninety, so and I'm sure she's not cleaning that much. But but you know something though, he she doesn't have to clean. Why does he hire a maid? No, because a woman's supposed to do that in the culture. No, but, they, but a maids. lot of Indians have maids. A lot of Indians have maids. Well, maybe in he doesn't have money. I don't know why. Maybe he wants Jenny well, yeah, to suffer. Well, yeah, he's not working and stuff like that. And I don't think maybe Jenny did not want him working because he works so, such long hours and he's 
you know, away from her for a long period of time. So they're really just living off her retirement but check then. Probably. That's crazy. But you know something else that I was thinking, or and also maybe her pension. But you know something else I was thinking? He said he will have one day off. On uh, Mondays. On Mondays. But he'll be out Friday, Saturday, Sunday getting his freak on, on the out in the club, honey, drink, smoking, whatever. No. Mm -mm. Jenny, mm -mm. you better watch that boy. You better watch that young man. Yeah. Mm -mm. But yes, we're going to go ahead and talk about how Fat Ed wants Liz to be working out and losing weight. So it's sure. always somebody who looks worse than you that tries to oh, tell you I about know. what you need to be doing with yeah. your life. Yeah. yeah. Like, look at you. I know. Look at you. Yeah. Look at you, I, Ed. I, I don't know why she doesn't just tell him that. She has been broken down so much. You tell him, okay, honey, I'll lose 20 pounds when you lose 15. <laughs> Let's I bet he together. won't bring that up no more. <laughs> yeah, but when you, it's like they put out feelers there and then they just come out with it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <sighs> I feel like li at this point, and you know, I don't even know. And doing some kind of stripper dancing and all and this stuff. twerking on some girl. I think it looked like a twerk class. Well, the girl was twerking on her, which I thought was a little. No, Liz what? was twerking on her friend. The guy, the girl went behind her. Yeah, I know that was her friend. But the girl is the one who went behind her. She didn't go and find the girl and go twerking on her. She left her position. I and don't even her, want to know who which was weird. I, don't, I, don't, was, I was just like, I don't even want to know who was grinding on who. But you know what I wondered? Maybe she likes Liz like that. That's why I thought the friend. I don't think she's checking for Liz like that. She does not look sexually interested in Liz at all. Well, she My left college. her position and went all the way back. For fun. Again. That's what Pete, that's what girls do in the club sometimes. They oh, dance with their friends or whatever and stuff like that. But they were in a dance class. I know, but that's what that that's a space where you dance and stuff oh, like see. that. Okay, so maybe that's you. whatever. I don't know. Why why are we talking why are we spending five minutes talking about <laughs> Okay. This I is had, why well, I had gone to a class like that. Nobody knew. I had gone to go, but it was like a, it was kind of like a stripper class. It was like one of these exotic classes, and it was it was actually really fun. Like just going there, no one knowing that this is something that I do on the side. It just that felt good, and it was it was a real workout. Yeah. So now look. Are fun. Now my thing is, I've never. And I wasn't doing it for anyone. It's just I happened to go somewhere else. I was going somewhere else, and I look up and I saw this new, you know, new store that had opened. And there was this dance class that I went up there and registered and stuff like that. But it was fun while it lasted because it's like <laughs> you will never tell anyone. And I remember later on, actually, my boss was telling me. You know, I went, I do these classes. I've been doing it for nine years. And she was this like straight laced person. And I was like, oh, really? And I didn't tell her about mine. <laughs> oh, what God. I like about pole, I've fun. never been to a pole yeah. class. But what I admire about women who do those type of dances or whatever is the upper fit. body strength. Yeah, you got The, fit. like the amount of upper body strength that you have is like incredible and to be able to go up you, those poles to be spinning and all that stuff i think it's insane and it's quite admirable because my ass can't even, even jump over a fence i can't and, even lift myself to and jump even over the a fence. lower body too because some of them you're squatting and your core oh my goodness gracious it was really a workout like I can't even do a push up or a pull up. Yeah. I really can't. You know, my forte is swimming, and that's yeah. about it. <laughs> and sometimes walking or jogging. Right. Yeah, you like to walk. Yeah, because it's an easy workout. I don't have to be breaking my breaking you my walk back really and fast then. Too. Yeah, and then also having to lift weights and all that stuff. I really don't like the gym for real. For real. I know. If I can go walk out in nature, I'm fine with that. And also, I think when you're in the gym, you know, guys holler, oh, watching you. Or, I think it's or a great even, place even to other meet people men. Watching you, I don't, I don't like that. I know? think it's a great place to meet men who are fit and who are interested in women who also are working out, working out and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a great meetup spot. But right. Home Depot is also a great spot to meet men. I know from experience. Mm. Um, so we are going to go ahead. But yeah, they also went yeah. ahead and they decided that they wanted to go ahead and um, do some role playing or whatever to spice it up. Uh, 
because I'm so I am cringe. always cautious of doing role play with a guy because I always feel as though he is practicing with you to get his cheated on. <laughs> Big facts. You know, you know, he had all like this man had all these lies to give her. I will worry about that. I'm like, how you know all these lies? I mean, some of them were kind of cute. My thing but. is, I saw a show on Fatal Attraction <laughs> where this husband took his woman mm -hmm. to go and um, was they were basically doing role play where yeah. he would try to pick her up at a bar or whatever stuff like that, mm -hmm. and then. Um, one day they were they have been doing it for like almost a year or whatever. But mm -hmm. then he said, you know, wouldn't it be fun to do it with other people? And then he will watch her flirt with other men, and then yeah. she'll be watching him do that. And then they ended up getting into some like sex club or uh, whatever. And next thing you know, he ended up cheating on her and having an affair. And then he ended up killing her so that he wouldn't have to tell the other woman that he had fallen in love with that he was married. So all that can go down a very slippery yeah. slope. So yeah. I when I saw that I immediately flashed back to that show of Fatal Attraction yeah. and I said, Watch out Liz. Yeah. And I always I always wonder about that. Um like always doing like this role play, different things that you have to do to spice up your sex life. I think there's intimacy missing. I feel That's like people forget think. that intimacy is not just yeah. it's not sex. Mm -hmm. For real, for real. It's yeah. really just about caring for that person, doing the little things, making sure, hey, are you okay? Yeah. You know, Hugging them, you know, holding their hand, a kiss on the forehead, yeah. spending time with them, yeah. just talking to each other is also intimacy. And really getting to like, know that you, person when you are like, even before the act, like really getting in tune, really getting in tune, looking at each other in your eyes, and yeah. just knowing, you know, through a look or something, the needs of your partner. That's really happens when you have been paying attention. Yeah. And that goes to that intimacy too. Yeah, that's my thing with role play. I feel like so people don't go amazing. deep enough. They just say, they let's don't. just do the let's do the cliche. Let's go yeah. ahead. Let's do let's get toys. toys. Let's get costumes. Let's play a sexy game. Yeah. Let's go act like we don't know each other. And you know I mean that's all fine or whatever. You know it's never enough. No. It's never enough. And the person usually ends up cheating. Yeah. And that happens too, I feel it also happens to people who you have you have had a lot of different partners, have tried a lot of different things. There's sometimes just the act which is supposed to be like an expression of the highest love, you can't get off with that anymore. I think you were really happy. You if you've never been satisfied. That, you're never satisfied. You I know? think if you've been through that where you've had like a lot of sexual partners, it might be best to really be celibate for a while. For a while. Yeah. Because then you can it can you can be able to tap into that and kind yeah. of have a new experience from yeah. it. Really go through a healing yeah. spiritually, physically, yeah. mentally and emotionally and, and just abstain yeah. from it and before you, you decide to go get married or whatever. Or it also happens with people who are like addicted to porn. Yes. Oh my you know god. What I'm saying yeah. if you're addicted to porn and all this stuff, it's like you can't just get off with this sacred act. You can't because you have, you know, your eyes are the windows to your soul. Facts. And you have let in. That's why you have to be careful what you let in through all your different orifices, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, it would be nice to talk about that even more deeply. But this is not the channel for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, if y'all want to, we can all have a yeah. nice discussion on another video. Yeah. And he invited his, um, was it his daughter as well? Yes. But I think they are not going to actually they be going. Responded they have not to responded him. to him. Yeah. Um, they're not. They're not really talking to Ed like that. Yeah. So I feel like Liz was like, you know, it's a win. It's a lose lose situation, or whatever. Because if they come, it's sad. If they don't come, it's also sad, or whatever. Yeah. Um, I feel like at this point, your really, your parent, your family is probably really done with the whole up and down relationship. Yeah. It's best to leave them in peace because y'all probably will be broken up before the engagement party even comes. So please oh, just save you. them from that. And it's really Ed's fault. It's you Liz's fault this, too because well, you allow him to walk all over you. You're yeah. sitting down there. You knew this man wasn't yeah. about nothing. I'm talking you know? about the family members being on oh. the house with Ed. Oh, yeah, she, yeah. And even his friends. You go, you badmouth Liz. They take your side. They, you know, comfort you. Mm hmm then two days later, they say, oh, I am back with Liz, and you guys don't be mean to her. 
how can we not when you have told us all this bad thing that she's doing to your friend? But also my thing is you have to also be able to be accountable as a family member. You have to be able to look at your family member and be like, you know, he can be an a-hole a lot of the time. And yeah. he doesn't treat women well. Yeah. So I have and to take what he says. broken up with her eight times. So I have to take everything he says with a grain of salt. That's true. It's called common sense. That's true. So the fact that you guys want to be mad at Liz is because y'all just want to be mad at Liz. I don't feel sorry for the family. I don't feel sorry for Ed. And I don't feel sorry for Liz. I don't. Because at this point, you know how he is. You decide to take mm -hmm. yourself and your two kids over there yeah. to this idiot who looks horrible. Yeah. And who is but there trying to tell you, you about, about telling yourself. you? I mean, like playing those mind games. Like I can't, I can't advise Liz. Like you there's know. nothing I can say to this, to this woman that will help yeah. her snap out of this coma of depression or low self-esteem. Yeah, I mean, you could tell she had low self-esteem from the time that he met her. You know, like she, the way she carried herself. But I know. was thinking she would never go on a date with him. I was I shocked know. when I she was said yes. When she did. Now I have to look, cause now I'm even looking at Liz, like she might be crazier than Liz. That she might, Liz might be crazier than Ed. Uh. So whenever Ed approaches a woman, I have to say he has probably peeped that she's crazy and that she, I that she is a good target. So whoever he's asking, I just have to look at them side eye, then look at him side eye. And so, then he doesn't allow her to go places. Like she, he will call. He, he'll let her, her go to the gym, but he won't allow her to, to go gym. anywhere else or yeah. whatever. That's just ridiculous. He has issues. I don't know why they're even still together. Yeah. But Libby has basically said, F Charlie, and she is not going to I the mother's birthday that is party. very wise of her. I think it's very, very wise of her. But I'm still shocked as how Charlie is the alcoholic. Yeah, I'm, It I'm just seemed like so everything went downhill after that party, as yeah. if Andre wasn't also to blame. I'm still trying and to figure out how... he was also how, drinking. Exactly. So I'm trying to figure out how does this all go downhill and how is Charlie to blame? Because before then, you guys were fine. Y'all had no issues with Charlie. No, they did. The sisters were saying Charlie has always been really abusive when he gets to drinking. Okay, um, Andre is too. How many times have he said, all oh, y'all F you? Yeah. But the thing is, what I'm saying is, this is your brother, so you know that he has a problem, right? Um, I think it's very smart of Libby to say, I'm not going to put my husband in a situation for his green card situation. To be revoked, yeah, to that makes sense. To happen. So, I mean, they obviously want something to happen so that they deport him. Well, she was laughing, well, hopefully he will get deported. I, I thought that was kind of shady. Was, it wasn't even shady, it was cruel. Because this is your sister's husband. Yeah, and the father of her child, too. You know what I'm saying? The father of, of her child, exactly. Yeah. And so she will suffer. The child will suffer. But she said she would move to Moldova if he actually went there. Yeah. Which, I mean, I'm not surprised, necessarily. Yeah. You know. But, yeah. That was quite interesting. Mm -hmm. So I think that Mika, and I really hope, Andre, I really hope you guys do not show up. Yeah. Please don't show up to this yeah. party. But we saw the sisters Charlie's, are going. Um, yeah, the sisters are there. Yes, we but saw, apparently Charlie was taking feet pictures of his wife, and she was, and she's making seventy thousand. Do you not have a job, Charlie? I don't think he does anymore. I don't think he has a job with his dad. That's why he's been upset with oh. Andre, because Andre, the father, kind of. I think Libby is his favorite, so he takes care of Libby, and Probably. so Andre is her husband. And Charlie wasn't working out. And yeah. Andre came and he's like, okay, this is going to be like my son. <laughs> and forget Charlie. Oh, even the father say that too. Yeah. You know? um, and I think that's why the sisters also are very upset about that whole thing as well. Yeah. I'm shocked. She makes 70000 a, a year, year just on feet pictures. I said, let me, let me go see how my feet look. I got, I got some pretty feet. I actually have really pretty feet. So oh look, shoe. I could show my little pretty feet. Hello. But that, that will have to be when they're not swollen <laughs> from my heart issues. <laughs> but yeah, anytime the blood pressure down, yep, let me take some pictures of my feet, girl. So and her feet are not even cute at all. I I yeah. I, I And but my thing was like, Charlie, why don't you do something like that? Why are you putting your wife out there like that? I thought well, that it's was anonymous. Odd. And you know, this is a way for them to make money. But why put it on TV? If it's anonymous, let's keep it anonymous. We don't need to know that your wife's doing that, Charlie. Yeah, well, I'm Thank you for the information, though. Yes, thank you for the information, because I will be having my feet out there. 
Now just let us know where exactly I can go and post my feet. <laughs> Honey, will you take my feet pictures? <laughs> but Kimberly and Usman, y'all. Um, Kimberly. Oh my goodness. Anyway, Kimberly, so she wants some yummy, yummy. Anyway, you but I give me yummy, yummy for two days. Kimberly, no, Kimberly, they, ask it. Usman. Oh yeah, yeah. So she has yummy yummy. It was so funny her. when they brought the tea, the hot water. Oh but yeah, then, because they had just, just argued sure. and everything and stuff like that, right? And then they had been yelling or whatever. She slept in a separate room. I guess he did too. But she said, you know, I'm too old to be throwing things, which we agree. Yeah. You are too old to be doing You're that stuff. Six years old. Yeah. You're older than me. Yeah, for real. So she came there. She had. She was putting, pouring the hot water and the hot coffee. He hey. said, "Hey, hey, oh, hey, hey! Make that, sure. You don't throw that on me. Oh. That's, That's hot, hot water. water and hot coffee." <laughs> I was laughing so hard because I mean, he is literally fed up with being getting drinks thrown in his face. I but I don't think she's going to ever stop. Well, well, I don't think she's so. She's never going to do that again. You said that last time. Please sit yourself down, down, Kim. No, she did not say that last time. Did she promise that she'll never do it again? Yes, because every single oh. time I get, it's like a toxic pattern now. Mm. Like, she'll throw something in his face. Um, he'll say that he's done. She said that, oh, my God, I'm sorry. Da, da, da. They'll come back together, talking about yummy, yummy, and all this stuff. Oh, my God. But, yeah, so they decided to make up or whatever. Uh -huh. But in the commercial, mm -hmm. she I think she was saying that um, she was telling Usman... Oh, you know, um, you know, what woman in her right mind will go from America and go be with somebody who's 18 years younger than her? I know somebody who will date somebody who's 50 years younger than her. Oh. But I'm not going to get into it. <laughs> but, yes, yeah, so she was just. <laughs> but, yes, yeah, so. <laughs> but, I mean, Kimberly, like. There are plenty of women who would go for somebody there yeah, or whatever. Right. And Usman knows that or whatever. I so mean, now like, you're doing him a favor. That's almost 30 years between them. How many times have we seen older women get with like, younger men? Like, it's yeah. so common yeah. now. And then even it was so just... So what's America women? I mean, you got Jenny. You got some other people. You got the lady who... Even was, the one that no, he was dating with before you. Prior, exactly. I was just going to say. Yes. So, yeah, Kimberly. Like, you're not the first. And if you don't work with you, you will not be the last. Yes, so he will find another old white woman to go to, and he says that the family doesn't want him to come because they already saw him with an old white woman. He said, "I just don't know why he's on boy for old white women. I don't know what, what my that's thing about. Is, like, I what don't do like you? when he calls them old white women either. It just seems like, just like it just seems rude. Like first of all, they're not old. These women are in their fifties. That maybe they're old to him, but they're in their fifties. Like you know what I'm saying." And, you know, don't, I don't know. I just, I, I, mean, I don't, I don't want think... someone calling me old black woman. <laughs> I will not like that. I, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't like him calling them old white women. Like, they are more than an old white woman. That's how I feel. But that's how the family like will look shady. at them, though. But that's how but his family will look at them. he is saying him. that. But that's how he feels, too. That's what I'm saying. So it's just, I just feel like... He just stated how he feels, which is a fact. Then it seems as though you don't really like them. He doesn't. He does then not why like her. are you with them? Like Because you know, he's an opportunist. He's just, he's, yeah, he's being like disrespectful to it. Very shady. And you know something? I think that he was kind of being extra and he was being upset really about this. You know why? Because it's his birthday party day. Yeah, I think he was trying to do it in a way where she don't come. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But even but in the preview or whatever, he was talking about how, you know, don't sit here and act like you're doing me a favor. I'm doing you a favor for, by being with you, somebody who's your age or whatever and stuff like that. And oh, she said what he was Yes, saying that's what he know. was saying. And they were going back and forth and they were the having an argument. disrespect, Kim. I don't know why you're wasting your energy. It gives me a headache. Low because she's in her 50s like me, and so it's just giving me a headache. For Please her. don't compare yourself to Kim. No, no, I'm not comparing herself. I'm just <laughs> saying that, like, she's like my, like, around my age group, right? She's in her 50s. I'm in my 50s. So I just feel bad for her. Like, you're with this guy who you like so much that you're willing to come all the way to Nigeria. And then now, it just seemed to me, and I don't know 
you know, what do you think of this? It seems as though his behavior with her is just becoming, as though he does, he's not really, like, he's getting really comfortable. Mom, why shouldn't he be comfortable? Like, you know look what at it how... reminds me? It reminds me of Michael and Angela. Michael, like, now is just like, whereas before there was like a little bit of like a respect there. Now it just seems a little bit of nothing there. Because he knows that's he, what that she happening. doesn't respect herself. So. Well, that's what is happening with, um, what's the name? Kimberly and Usman. That's yeah. what I am seeing. And I feel like ever since she said that he can have a second wife, I feel like maybe the respect went down for him. He's like, oh, she must really want me, you know, because she's even willing to, you know, let me have a second wife. You, you understand what I'm saying? And Kimberly, uh, this man, you guys came together without that little thing about him having a second wife. He already knows what your age is. You should not have acquiesced about it. You, I mean, you shouldn't. Because he knows what your age is before he came your way. So now you think about you want a child, then you are not going to have me then. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't have that Like, I, I am not going to feel sorry for you that you didn't have a child. Then don't come into my life. Don't go looking for older women. Well, Because I cannot have a baby. He so go you're not going to make me feel bad about that. Well... Um, I know she he didn't. Went to she him. went to him. So right. I mean, what do you expect him to do? But he did have to say yes. So now that he that's said his, yes, that's his type. You what should that's not have like allowed yourself to be talked into or whatever, giving him a second wife because he needs to have a child. Yeah. That's your business. That don't go around like being with older women who cannot have kids anymore, whose fertility ages are over. Like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Can you imagine Jenny say, Submit, you can go and have a younger person? I don't think Jenny will do that. Jenny will have a fit. Probably. <laughs> but yeah. She'll be like, It is over. You want to go marry a younger Indian woman to give you a baby? It's over. Yeah. But you never know with Submit. You're by Ariabon. You're already side. doing Kama Sutra and all this stuff. Yeah. You never know with Submit. Yeah, but Yara, she is wanting to go. I think she wants to go to Europe. I guess her Prague. Mom's, yeah, mm -hmm. Prague. I don't know where that is. I don't know. To Europe somewhere. Oh, okay, okay, so she wants to go see her mom, whatever. She wants to go help her family real bad. Jovi is like, no, I don't want you to go, whatever. She's thinking about going regardless. I think he. I think the only reason why he wants to go with her, mm -hmm. y'all can fight me on this, mm -hmm. but I think the only reason why he wants to go with her is to make sure that she doesn't go with his child and never come back. Yeah. Not because of the child, but just, but just because he doesn't want to lose her. Yeah. Because he knows he's never going to find somebody who looks that good at her mm -hmm. and is actually going to put up with his craziness. Yeah. That's why I think he wants to go there. He wants to make sure that she's not going there and staying there and that she finds somebody better. She comes to her senses that she can get somebody else mm -hmm. and leaves him. Yeah. That's what I believe. Mm -hmm. Because he's already saying that she does that he doesn't like her friends or whatever because she's telling because they're telling her the truth, which yeah. she could get much better than Jovi. Like, she is the cream of the crop. Even though she's had kids, she's still the cream of the crop. She still yeah. looks very young and everything. Mm. So, I don't think he really wants her to... He doesn't want her to leave him. Yeah. I really don't think that, so... I just feel like... I mean, I understand that Ukraine is a war. And you're worried about your family. But I don't feel like... I don't feel like you can help your family being over there. You can help them better if you're in America. That's how I feel. And I do how? not allow anyone to take my child out of my eyesight to a foreign country uh, with with me not being there. You can miss me on that mess. You can go. No problem. But you ain't taking my baby. Well, I don't think and I will fight you in court for that. Because you need for a child to leave the U.S. who is below the age of, I think, 16. They need the, they need the father's signature. Oh, wow. They're not allowed to just take a child. You actually need a signature to get that ticket. Uh, yeah. So, no, you can't take my child. I will take you to court. I, no, we're not doing that. And you're going to Prague for what? Ukraine is not too far away. Your mom, your mom says she's doing fine. I think they will prefer if you bring them to America and they be safe. It makes no sense for you to... And they wouldn't take that long. They said it would take a week or something. Exactly. It makes no sense. I will not do it if I'm Jovi. 
Yeah. You've lost your I mean, life. that makes sense. She really like, should just bring hey, that to me. I know maybe our marriage is not that great, but you ain't taking my child anywhere. You've lost your damn mind. <laughs> you took my child nowhere. Yeah. No, no you're not. Uh-uh. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, Angela has decided that she is going to go see Michael without his consent or his knowledge. This will end badly because in the preview, we see her busting the windows out of his car, child. And she, we see um, Renee saying, get out here. She ripping up your car. And she's and yelling, I will, I will tear the wheels off this mother effer and Michael, all this stuff. Michael don't lock the door and the lights are off. I bet he got a woman in there. And Lord, and also she brought a book that says that um they got married under a Nigerian Christian law. Yeah. So basically, whatever he yeah, has she is hers. Owns, yeah. She owns. So now she going with that book, which I'm sure you're not even following the laws and rules in that book anyway, Angela. She might not even know that the book exists. Exactly. Michael. So she's like, okay, this is my car too. Girl, oh, this is not a Jasmine Sullivan music video where you busting the wheels out somebody's car. Um, oh, I would I suggest that. that you don't do that because um. I don't want to say that Nigerian or African might come out of him, um, but you might not want to do that because he might lose control as well. Uh, but no, I don't, I don't think do Mom, they had to hold this man back. His eyes were bloodshot red. Remember the preview where he said, "Get out of my country! Get out of my country!" Remember that? Was that with a car? Yes. When he came outside and she was tearing his stuff up and he had to have like almost six men hold him back in the streets like they were having a gang Where fight. Was what, all the men were in this house too? No, they were where outside they where Angela was um busting up I the car. I think it's, it's a different thing. You know why? Because this one was a nighttime. The other one seemed like it was during the day. No, that was the, the lights from the cameras. <laughs> oh. That was not daylight. That was dark because everybody was looking dark up in that scene. <laughs> it was just the light. So, Lord have mercy. I, you know, nothing much was going on this episode, but I look forward to the next episode um, to see what Michael be doing <laughs> and see if Angela completely loses her marble. Oh, marbles. Percy, I felt like you didn't need to go to Nigeria to know that he was scamming you. Like, you had all the information there already. No, I think she, she just wanted to see him for one last time or whatever. Angela, no, stop she, wasting your time. You're too yeah. old to be acting like this. And yeah. next thing you know, you throw your back out, then you're in Nigeria with a broken back trying I to rip Michael, somebody's car apart. Michael had just had enough of her. I think he did like her, but I think after a while of her being... I mean, so all the abuse. Yeah. All the abuse. I like, think that was the thing that it was just, it was too much. But you saw him, which is very rare, for a man to stand up to his African male friends. For for a woman, period. For well, maybe a woman, saying, period. Hey, look, listen, a man will don't never go do that. For me, okay, because the fact I'm going that he the did, the fact that he did, no, he was very upset that day with his friends. And you could see even they got upset too. Well, because with him. she was ruining his chance. Because they were ruining his chance to come to America. Yeah, I don't think that. I think that was genuine. I think Michael really liked Angela. I don't. He actually know. really liked Angela. I really I don't believe think that so. he did. I think. Do that y'all think he really liked Angela? I, I don't believe so. I think he did. I think she was just. It was too much drama, too much. And it then when she showed her cheekies to was, his aunt, that was too much. All he, Woo! yeah, uh, that was that was a lot. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was a lot. I'm sorry, that was a lot. Yeah. Yeah, y'all. But it's Mary and Emma. We you guys like, subscribe, share, and comment down below.